Okay, so, um, uh, with subsplits, um, the first thing that you're gonna do is, um, well, actually, so the first thing you're gonna do is in your edit layout, um, everything's gonna keep popping up on the other monitor, sorry, you're gonna get rid of splits, and then you're gonna have subsplits is what you're gonna add, and then in here, there's a bunch of different settings that you can pick, um, where you can have things be separated, how many you want to be displayed, all that stuff. Um, I have contextual subsplits and then indent subsplits selected. So that means that this is, you know, the, the hub, like the entirety of hub one. And then each individual split will be indented so that I can tell the difference between, you know, the whole world and then the each individual level. Um, you can also get rid of the section header if you don't want to see it. I like that information, and you know it's kind of like the point to using subsplits in my opinion. Um, I also have this to you know keep the tune of like even when it's the last split, I want to know that you know things. It just keeps it nice and organized, and then once you split for the last one, it will immediately start the next area, and then you'll see you know what your time was for that hub. Um, so that's how you, you know, get this set up in, in this part. And then, you know, obviously all of this extra stuff you set up however you want to have it set up. Um, and then once you've done that, then when you go to add splits, you also have some setup here to do. Um, which isn't very obvious at the start. So... Um, right here, the last split that I have in all keys is Raleigh's boss fight. And before that, um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I can't really make this, like, I can't really zoom in on this. Um, but right before, or, or like before that split, um, I have it formatted with, um, this thing right here. Um... This little bracket. Well, it's not a bracket, but um, so you do this, and then I put Tide of Terror because that's the episode name, and then I put the name of the actual split, which is Raleigh. And what this does is this makes your um, header. This is how you get the header, and then every split that you want before that to be included in this header, what you do is you put a dash before it. So you do like dash stealthy approach and then dash into the machine and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know, down until you have all of these. And then um, once you have, you know, all seven of your levels for all keys, for example, then Raleigh, which would be the boss fight or the eighth level, I'm, I'm doing quotes, you can't see it. Um, that's where you'll put this, and that will end your section. So these, so this split and all of these will be included in this Tide of Terror um, proper split, and then these are all the, what you consider subsplits are the individual levels that are counted in this. So if you have, once you have this formatting done for your actual splits, and then you have them listed as subsplits in your actual layout layout, then this will all, um, this is what it should look like. And like I said, if you can see it here, um, it might be too small, I don't actually know. Then, you know, for episode two, I go back to doing the little dashes before each split, and then before um, my final split, which my final split is Murray's Big Gamble instead of Mugshot's Boss Fight, then here I put the little squiggly bracket again. And then for World 3, do the same thing on Ms. Ruby's boss fight split, do the brackets and so on. And then um, whatever you want this section to be named, I do the episode names. You can just do Hub 4, Hub 3, whatever. Um, that's how I do that. And then the same thing happens for the final area. You can still do that as um, subsplits. And the only, the only difference is when you end your split, instead of it collapsing, 
um, like it does for the other ones. This one will just stay looking like this and it'll just have all your times listed. And the only reason why it does that is because there's nothing else for it to go to. So there's no reason for it to collapse because it's still active technically, even though your run's over. Um, and everything activate, like, should work the same way. Um, so yeah, hope that helps out. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs>